missing, they lost contact. One day, she felt the urge to reach out to this friend. When they reconnected, her friend told her she had been going through a difficult time and desperately needed someone to talk to. The woman realized how important that friendship had always been, even when she had forgotten. And so the kingdom of heaven, it's kind of like a long, forgotten relationship. Kingdom of heaven, always there, waiting for us to reconnect. Sometimes we forget about spiritual things because of the busyness of life. How many of y'all struggle to read your Bibles every day? I mean, it's hard, right? Because you say, okay, I'm going to read my Bible every day. And then a phone call comes. Or somebody comes to the door. Or, oh, look, we have 37 doctor's appointments today. All right, here we go. We better try this. And so you, you get behind. You all get behind your Bible reading? I get behind in my Bible reading, okay? I get behind. And it's tough to play catch up. So you just you just got to do it. You know, so I said, all right, got to make time. Got to do this. And yes, there's some, hey, there's some weeks. I got to do the weeks work. Because things have been happening. But I try and keep up. All right? Pastor, you got a problem reading the, I don't have a problem reading the Bible. It's just things happen. Life happens. But the thing is, fortunately, the Bible's always there. My Bible hadn't walked out on me yet. You know, I hadn't heard the door slam. Boom, I'm leaving because you don't read me every day. No. But the thing is, the kingdom of heaven is like that long forgotten relationship. Always there waiting for us to reconnect. Sometimes we forget about spiritual things because we're busy. But the moment we turn back, we realize how much we've missed and how deeply we need that connection. It's there. It's there. And so the thing is, where are you in your relation to the kingdom of God? Your relation to Jesus Christ? Are you far away or close? Are you complacent or are you active? Are you too busy to care at the moment? You just got so many things going on? Life circumstances overwhelming you? The thing is, we need to come back to Jesus. Or, in some cases, come to Him because you really never came to Him to begin with. Or you need to come back. Because he's always there waiting. He's always there waiting. He, he doesn't. What did he say in, in the last part of Matthew chapter 28? I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. He's always there. Maybe we're not there. But he's always there. Remember the story about the, uh, the couple? That they were dating. This is the days when, when the cars had bench seats in the front. And the bench seats in the back. Y'all remember those, right? I remember those. I, I remember our family vehicle. I, you, you could put 42 people in those cars. <laughs> no problem. And so, you know, and, and this couple dating, you know, and, we, and the husband, the guy's driving, where's, where's the girl sitting? Right next to the guy in the middle of the bench seat. Right next to him. You know, they date, they date, they date. Okay, I do, I do. They get married. And then... What is it like? She sits in the middle for a little while and she goes over and goes over and then she's sitting by the door. And then one day she goes, man, she said, our relationship, I don't get this. He goes, what do you mean? She said, well, you know, we were dating, you know, I sit right next to you and all this, you know, and now I'm sitting over here. And he says, well, honey, I haven't moved. <laughs> I'm still in the same place. And that's the thing with Jesus Christ. He doesn't move. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So the thing is, He's ready to receive you with the open arms. Yeah, Jesus, I haven't been... Yeah. I haven't been completely, totally faithful all the time. But I thank you that you're there and that you're forgiving and I can always come back to you. Let's bow our heads, please. He's ready to receive you. So where are you with your relationship in Jesus Christ? Kind of complacent, kind of cold. Or, you know, you're going steady. Or is it a, a lot better than it was? If, is your relationship with Jesus Christ better than it was five years ago? Two years ago? One year ago? You should be going forward. Remember, I keep saying it's not perfection, but it's progress. It's progress. You need to keep moving forward. So where are you in your relationship to Jesus Christ? Do you know Him as your Lord and Savior? Have you said, Jesus, I'm a sinner? And I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I believe you died for me on the cross. 
and I'm putting my faith and trust in you for eternal life, for salvation. And I thank you for that. Have you ever done that in your life? If you haven't, you can pray that prayer. It's as simple as that right now. But you need to mean it. It's not the words. It's the attitude. It's what you're believing. There's no magic formula for words to say. But it's what you're believing within yourself. And then, if you've done it, if you've done that, and you've been in Jesus Christ for a long time, Lord, it's been tough. I've been uh, pulled in different directions. Would you please forgive me? I thank you that you're always there. So help me, Lord. Okay, I can start over. Go this way. You know, restart that Bible reading. Restart that prayer. You know, consistently. And Lord, I ask you to please help me. Do that. Where are you? Where are you? Jesus never leaves us, never forsakes us. Karen's going to play one verse with him. hymn. If you'd like to come down here and pray, talk to me, talk to me after church, whatever you would like. This is your time, your opportunity to deal with the Lord and talk to Him. So take them. Take them. 
take them all because the youth are making more tonight. And they're going to take them to the schools and distribute them at their schools. Different schools they go to. But you guys take all of these today. Okay? Right, Eliza? Got it? All right. So. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Two more things. November 5 is what? We have an election. So, what, I, what I've heard is early voting is open. I think you can go to Vance there and they have early voting. But November 5 is voting day. So, pray, listen, watch, pray, and then vote. Okay? Go vote. Don't let other people vote for you. Go vote. There are people who have actually fought and given their lives for our privilege of being able to go and vote. So please go and vote on November 5, or even before, if you prefer that. Next Saturday is your favorite time of year. Because we get to turn our clocks back. <laughs> One hour. So I checked it this morning because Pam asked me about that. Because South Carolina had actually talked about leaving it the same, but this year um, still going to change the clocks back. So I don't know what we'll do in the spring, but in the fall we get to turn our clocks back on Saturday. All right? Y'all got that? And I won't give you a football report because none of the teams I report on played. I couldn't believe that. I went through the schedules and none of them played yesterday. I go, wow, that's interesting. Teams played, but not the ones that we talked about. That's right, correct? Carolina didn't play yesterday. Clemson didn't play yesterday. Florida didn't play yesterday. But they'll play next week, okay? All right, Randy, your turn. So, see, I told you I'd give you the last minute. Yeah. All right. You can take more than a minute. If you need. <laughs> this is uh, for you. Uh, and thank you. The congregation of the Deacons want to thank you for being our pastor. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Y'all ready to go home? No? Okay. All right. <laughs> Round two. Yeah. Now, let everyone stand, please. Thank you all for being here today. Congratulate Bess as you go out, okay? She, she had a neat accomplishment, so just say, good job, okay? And I'll let her tell you all about it. All right, so, Robert, please, sir, if you would dismiss us in prayer. Dear God, give us <clears throat> your guidance. Bless us, we pray, through this coming week. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.